Good evening. It's a once-in-a-lifetime moment that certainly captured the imaginations of thousands of people all across the prairie. As we first showed you last night on CTV News at 6, a meteor lit up the night sky. The amazing image that only lasted a few seconds was caught on camera. Now, we have received countless phone calls and emails from people wanting to tell us what they saw. So tonight, CTV News has team coverage of this story as we try to find out just how big that meteor was and where and if it actually did land. And our treasure hunter tonight is Scott Roberts <laughs> on this story, hoping to answer some of those questions. And what have you been able to find out, Scott? Well, Daryl, it's hard to believe, but astronomers actually say this meteor started out no larger than a table and possibly much smaller than that. Still, it created a huge fireball as it entered the atmosphere and a lot of buzz for those who saw it. It was a feast for the eyes, a fireball streaking across the night sky and lighting up parts of the prairies. I don't know what the hell that was. It soon became clear a meteor had come crashing down, causing quite an impact for those who saw it. All of a sudden, my screen lit up, and this thing went down through it, and I just held the camera there. Andrew Bartlett was shooting video of incoming planes from his 10th floor apartment when he caught the meteor with his lens. Just a bright, bright flash, real bright, brighter than anything I've ever seen. And he's not alone. This peace officer from Devon was on duty when the meteor fell catching this footage on his dashboard camera. And all of a sudden it just exploded into a ball of flames and, and obviously it was a little more than just a shooting star. Sightings are confirmed from as far away as central Saskatchewan. This backyard in North Battleford lit up by the fireball. This family northeast of Saskatoon saw it too and went looking for the remnants. You could see the fire in the back of it and then there was a trail of smoke. It was so neat. If you find a rock that looks something like this, sort of uh, charge in nature, good chances it could be a meteor. This astronomer says it isn't yet known where or if the meteor landed, but footage from cameras like those at the International Airport, observatories across the province, and eyewitness counts are giving him a hunch. I'd probably say right now by all likelihoods it's somewhere near Lougheed, Alberta. And while he'll be poring over data in the coming days to try and verify that, others will be poring over their video footage, still reeling from the shot of a lifetime. It still really hasn't sunk in that, you know, I got it. Yeah. And astronomers tell us they can't predict when these types of meteors will fall, but that it happens relatively often. What is rare is the number of people who witnessed this one and how much video there is out there. Yeah, 527 in the afternoon, right? So lots yeah. of people out there. So if somebody is out there looking and they actually do find a meteorite, is it worth anything? Well, it depends on the size and what type of meteor it is, but I'm told they can be worth thousands of dollars, so there may be some treasure hunters out there this weekend, Daryl. All right. Thanks, Scott.